All right, releases are getting big again. But before we do this, do non-anime things. We got The Martian, obvious. And I think at some point I was curious about this, so I picked that one up as well. Oblivion, whatever. The Martian was good. I haven't watched my DVD copy yet, but I did watch it in theaters. And here, let's see. Got a nice big pile there, and why don't we just go through what we have here? First, we have Terran Resonance. I think this is the right version I wanted to get. It's DVD and Blu-ray, at least, so I can at least be satisfied with that. But I say satisfied, and yeah, there's a couple of can't be satisfied with versions. I have things coming up. Vaughn means hope. DVD 1 and 2. I do not know anything about these people I am seeing because I have not watched this. In fact, is that white haired person a guy? They could be. It's um, tricky to tell. I don't want to say for certain until I've actually watched it. Speaking of androgynous individuals, I'm pretty sure that's a guy, but... Oh, those look like... that looks like lipstick, so okay. Probably a guy, probably a girl? I don't know. I'm not even quite sure what it's about, but the name sounds vaguely familiar. In fact, I think it came up recently because of the uh, funny video of... Oh gosh, I can't remember names. So, I guess I'm not going to continue. But I think it came up recently, and... I don't know. We'll see if it's good or not. Don't know how that prioritizes compared to other things, though. Let's see... Maybe this... Oof! Hanayamata. Blu-ray and DVD versions. Oh, interesting. Well, let me finish opening this. You know, like very gummy kind of plastic wrapping. And I say it that way because that burp that was there a couple minutes ago was a gummy burp. Fun stuff. Ah, there we go. So, on the inside here, we've got three discs. And in here should be two. It looks like this is completely different disc art than what's in the DVD version, which is less common in the Sentai releases. Part of me that wonders if they watch this video and um, watch my videos and say, oh yeah, this person buys two of them and comments on them side by side. Then again, maybe I'm not the only one out there who does that. As you can see, it's English dub. Region A only, but... Next up, we've got uh, Samurai Pizza Cats, the complete collection. All 52 episodes in standard definition. That's the Beatty. I do believe uh, somebody did ask me about it last week, but I think the comment was deleted because I realized probably that maybe the official release date was today or something. If so, it, it, that was good because it meant that I didn't have to actually type that in. It saved me time because uh, my inbox is going crazy. It's nothing y'all are doing. It's 
Uh, for some reason, uh, recruiters have decided to start sending me a lot of stuff through uh, LinkedIn. And it's not a whole lot of them, but a couple of them can just kind of eat up a little bit of time, a good amount of time. Uh, yesterday was busy. And this is just falling apart. I mean, it's kind of interesting that this feels so small and compact. I'm wondering if there's a lesson here being taken from uh, the complete collection. It's a single disc. Yeah, look, it, it says that right there. All 52 episodes on one disc. It doesn't sound completely implausible, because, right, if this is a multi-layered disc, I'm not sure if I'd be really good at identifying that. Not by eye, at least. That makes sense. Audio, English, subtitle, none. Which might mean that they might do a uh, Japanese version release in the future. Maybe. It'll be something I'll keep my eye on, but... It's an interesting release that requires a little closer investigation. Local doll with some midriff action. Let's, I guess, begin with the Blu ray. I've been beginning with the Blu ray for the. Oh, okay, so there was only one other, but. Get this open, get this open. This looks like an idol anime. And a kind of stuck DVD disc. Let's see, looking on the back here, region A, subtitled only. This one's just completely upside down. So, we can see that disc 2 on the Blu-ray and disc 3 on the DVD are the same. And disc 1 has the same artwork. Beyond that, I don't really know anything about the show, so on to the next. Pokemon XY Set 2. Volume 2. Thing 2. Uh, 24 action-packed episodes. I guess I was going to jokingly say, maybe not that action-packed, but the truth of the matter is, I haven't caught up, and I do know they've tried playing around with it a bit. I mean, they kind of know that... Hmm. Huh. Well, whatever. It's, uh, more Pokemon. It's nice that it keeps coming out. Then we, we got a certain Scientific Railgun S, which is the second season. This one is a Blu-ray DVD combo pack, and so obviously I picked this up because it was a DVD release only before Region A only. Um, I'm not sure if there's much else to look at other than the contents on the inside. Nope. It's like, uh, I guess it's not exactly an invertible cover. Discs are straightforward, simple. That says DVDs, so these four discs are probably, they, they could be what was released before, and then this would be the Blu-ray content. Three discs. Since that one doesn't, uh, maybe I can take a peek at this side. I recognize that artwork. It's like the artwork for Railgun S. Except for what they chose to put on the front, which is actually kind of a neat contrast between the two. So, you might think that's the end of it, but there's one more thing that arrived, and I'm going to put that down like that, because it's a Pony Canyon release at Etotomic Collector's Edition, or Volume 2. Where's the two? There's two. Two true. 
Blu-ray plus DVD. And there tends to be a soundtrack, a CD thing as well. There we go. We'll just uh, we found this slot. We're peeling it off. Cool. And what's there to look at? Let's see. I mean, this tells you DVD is region one. It doesn't give you any region for the Blu-ray. Looks like there's four episodes. Um, I didn't remember this as it arrived, but I knew that, like the first one had the cat girl on the front, and like yeah, I just don't remember what it was about, and then. I knew there were other animal girls, and then I very slowly put together, oh yeah, these are all like uh, zodiac animals, creatures, hence uh, dragon girl. Well, it's, obviously she's a monkey, I'm just trying to decide what she's supposed to be. Oh, you know what, uh, I bet, uh, that, that's a, uh, is that a dog? Is that a zodiac animal? Characters. And obviously I'm not looking through the postcards because I'm being a lazy poo, poo head. So we do have a CD inside here. It just says collector's edition. I'm not seeing anything that says exactly what it is. And then maybe that's just a CD for the second volume, I don't know. We've got DVD. Uh, this is in here to give it a little stability, so I'm going to go ahead and leave that in there. And you got the Blu-ray. Which uh, I don't think it's possible that it could be just region-free free, Blu-rays. I mean, this is Pony Canyon releasing it, so maybe they... Hmm. Maybe I'm having trouble closing this. That seems to have done it. Whatever. Well, there we go. That's um, this week's anime DVD collection update. So, I've um, definitely been a little slow on the anime watching this past week. Uh, a lot of it is making progress on Dragon Warrior 7, and along those lines, I I think I mentioned before that Alolan C and Ping Pong the Animation were my next two conceptually on my priority to watch list. Uh, Ping Pong the Animation was probably going to be next, but I didn't want to watch that immediately after Haikyuu, and I was feeling particularly uh, exhausted, probably because these have been busy days. So I decided uh, I might as well... Um, she likes a bit by choosing something a little more simple, lowbrow, and it's humor. And I uh, decided to give Ladies vs. Butlers a try because that one's been on the verge of coming out for a long time, I guess. And I think it's also English dubbed, but I mean, it uh, does say there's English audio on the back, but the Blu ray defaults to Japanese with English subtitles, and I started, I'm like, eh, whatever. I'll just watch it this way. It's the original way. Content wise, it's hard to say what I think about it. It's not necessarily... Uh, I was going to say it's not necessarily horrible, but it really depends on what your preferences are. If you're really into a lot of the common tropes of the harem genre, it's probably pretty good right up your alley. The artwork's neat. The characters are interestingly designed, but beyond that, you know, it, it hits a lot of my common gripe points. The main character, he was interesting for all of about 15 seconds, I think. And then he nosedives straight into clumsy, always embarrassed anime protagonist, making mistakes all the time, whatever. Uh, because he, he's got to be the butt of every single joke that they try and do, I guess. Unless it's, you know, somebody who's part of him being the butt of that joke, like, uh, uh, I'm, I'm trying to think of examples. You got the, the really, really, really clumsy girl is probably the best example I got that's, like, obvious, but most of the characters are kind of, eh, amusing, but, eh, drill-haired girl, it's like, 
I mean, she's obviously one of the main characters because she's right here on the title. It's like, she's a kind of bad person. It's like, <sighs> blaming other people for her own bullshit mistakes. I mean, she doesn't do that, but she's a, the other girl is a different kind of bad person. She's just, uh, I'm not even sure if uh, manipulative is quite the right word, because there's a really a maliciousness to it that goes beyond manipulation. It's like, she doesn't get off on manipulating people, she gets off on hurting them, and she does it through manipulation, and it's... It feels like there's some backstory there, but at the same time, it doesn't change the fact that she's a dangerous person. Now, that said, she's been a more tolerable person to watch on the show because she isn't screeching all the time, blaming other people for her own misgivings. <sighs> Let's see. That person's a piece of shit who broke pretty much every law. I don't even know what's wrong with this school. Why would they even keep a killers and rapists on board. It's like, ugh. And then again, I guess they tolerate that one guy who does a lot of that stuff too, so... I don't know. The girl who looks younger than she actually is, she's okay. Clumsy girl, I actually think is okay. She's stupid, but, you know, at the same time, she's kind of like a dog that poops in the living room when they were kind of whining at the door. Maybe they forgot to whine at the door or something like that. Where it's kind of like, you know, they shouldn't have done that. But at the end of the day, you can't be too angry at them because there's an instance there for her. She's probably just a little bit mentally retarded. Uh, her sister seems to be similarly so. And, you know, they, they get people in trouble. But it, it's hard to fault them for it because, again, there's an innocence there to it. I don't know. I, I'm being weird with my... Whatever. Uh, the problem is I'm only halfway through it. I think it was only six episodes on that first disc, and that's all I've watched this past week. And like I said, I think the main thing has been a Dragon Warrior 7. I'm trying to power through that. I'm trying to make sure I do not stop before I finish. And I finally reached disc 2. But I haven't quite figured out why there's a disc 2. Like, there's so much time spent on disc 1 that my mind is just kind of like, okay, what what's disc 2 going to throw at us that disc 1 couldn't? Tons of FMVs? There weren't a whole lot in the first one. It should be interesting to see what happens. Because I literally just transitioned. Uh, I guess there is another distraction, uh, Legend of Zelda Triforce Heroes. I did start that up with two of my friends. We're basically only progressing as far as we've done together, which is a weird artificial limitation, but it's kind of like, you know, it's an excuse for all of us to get together to play a game and make progress, and maybe that's going to get a little, um messed up these next couple of weeks. We'll have to see because uh, we've got a Sword Art Online 2 Volume 4 ship, so that's probably going to arrive, I'm going to guess, Friday, which means I'll probably pick it up on Saturday. But then next week, that's when we get um, Naruto Shippuden and One Piece, and all, of the, all three of those are something I'm watching with one of the, these guys, and even if we all three get to together to watch them. Well, you know, the other guy might not care about just jumping in the middle of some of this stuff. He's probably not going to want to watch through Naruto. And he's already seen bits and pieces of the middle of One Piece, which uh, it's really nice if you could just watch it from the beginning and kind of get into it. But there's no real need to do that because um, we're probably not going to be playing Triforce Heroes while we're watching it. I mean, we might, but we probably wouldn't be playing that... It, doing new stuff sort of stuff. It, it'd be the sort of stuff I've been doing in some of my spare time, which is, uh, you know, since I can't do new areas, in order to get new outfits, I can grind mm, rupees and purchase stuff and... It's not very efficient, not very controllable, but I don't know. It, it feels 
appropriate, especially since I'm doing it at the same time I'm doing Dragon Warrior 7, which can be a little bit of a grindy game, but I've not been doing a whole lot of that lately. Hellcloud I had to do that for. I did it a little bit just to make sure I wasn't going into a new area with somebody who uh, was going to master their class in like 13 battles. Uh, it's all kind of exhausting and tiring. But the plan is um, finish Ladies vs. Butlers and hopefully finish Dragon Warrior 7 unless there's a lot more to do. I, I don't know because I it sounded like the there's almost twice there, there's 50 percent uh, side questing you could be doing and I don't know what that means yet because I've still not gotten far enough to find out yet. Then what else? Uh, but then I guess ping pong the animation might be next and. Maybe I'll go back to... I might get Hana Yamata try because that one was dubbed, if not a terror in resonance. And then that means that Alolan C will be in the ball, bottom of the pile, in the middle of the pile right here. Hopefully I'll start covering, getting those piles cleaned up, but there's a disc on the server that's being weird, and I have to figure out if the drive's dead or if a cable's loose or what. So as you can tell, kind of busy stuff. Uh, well, let's see, I guess I shouldn't end there because there's uh, all the animated pre-orders. So, what's some interesting releases coming up in the next month? Well, well let's begin with <clears throat> things that are kind of notable re-releases, I guess. Uh, Pokemon movies 1, 2, and 3 are being released on re-released on DVD, and they're being released on 3-pack Blu-ray thing. I'm getting all four of those things. Basically because <clears throat> the old Viz movie releases, no, they weren't Viz, were they? Maybe they were Viz. The old movie releases were the, the standard 4x3, the standard definition stuff, instead of the original Japanese 16x9. Now, you may recall that I do have imports of movies 1, 2, and 3 from Japan because those were released in Japan in 16x9 format, the widescreen format, but the Japanese, but you know, the English audio was at the top of that, but the movie one also had the clips that had been taken out and released as specials put back in, because since those were dubbed, there was dubbing for those, and so they were able to reconstruct all of the first movie in 16x9, so I've got the Japanese releases because even though there's no English subtitles for the Japanese dialogue, there is still the English dub and the appropriate formatting for the movie and stuff. So we're finally getting a version of that here in the States. I don't know if the first movie is going to have those scenes put back into place as well, but since I do have the old 4x3 uh, DVD releases, I figured that's an upgrade, getting them in their original standard de or widescreen definition. So, there's those. Uh, the other thing is uh, Love Live, Season 2. Um, it looks like there's a couple notable things about that. First of all, um, it looks like that's another one of the long release versions, just like Love Live Season 1. So, um, it, NISA is kind of releasing something from that product line again. I wonder if somebody called them chipboard premium edition releases or something like that. But the other notable thing is, rights of saying they're dubbed, and I googled it, and I'm like, oh yeah, somebody did say that both seasons were going to be dubbed, and there's a re-release of season one, a standard edition Blu-ray release, and I'm going to get that one, because I, even though I usually only get the premium and only need the premium, that one has um, a dub to it, so I'm definitely going to get that, because the original one didn't. Or at least I checked, and there was only one audio track, so obviously it was Japanese only, and I pulled it down and said that it was only Japanese or something like that. So, from a technical perspective, those are two notable things. Um, let's see, there's also the notable release of Evangelion 3.33, early February, which is hopefully really coming out. I think it's really coming out this time, and it should be interesting to see what the dub is like, because... 
I, I, I guess I'm going to call it controversy, but it's not really controversy amongst fans so much as controversy between the director and the Funimation, I suppose, where there was the airing of 3.33 in theaters, and that one had a dub to it, but after that, the reason it's taken so long to come out on DVD and Blu-ray is apparently um, the creative minds in Japan, whoever is there, it could be... Um, uh, I can't remember his name, but it's my understanding that they wanted to have the dub redone and that's taken a long time apparently. I'm not sure if, what the details behind that process is, but my guess is that means that these releases are going to have that dub. If they have both dubs, that'd actually be pretty cool. But whatever dub they intend to release is fine by me because, you know, as much as I'd like to have both, I, I enjoy a little variety, and this this is what was presented to the um, U.S. anime audience, I guess, for home video release. <sighs> so there's that. I'm pretty sure there were other things. Oh, uh, yeah, like uh, that Magical Girl Fates Day Night spinoff thing. The second season of that is definitely coming out. But uh, it's hard to remember what was coming out what wasn't. I guess there's also Fate Stay Night Season 2 DVD and Blu-ray. And obviously I haven't watched the imported Japanese one, which means why did I bother importing it? I guess technically if Aniplex was having troubles and they were struggling and they decided they weren't going to release new stuff for some reason, then this would have been how I would finish Fate Stay Night Unlimited Blade Works. But that didn't happen, and it's kind of pointless and expensive. And uh, speaking of pointless and expensive, uh, obviously you can still see uh, these big figurines here. Um, and I didn't get the seventh one yet. It hasn't shown up, and it didn't arrive today, so nothing yet. Which makes sense. It and her both shipped from Japan. They both had a delivery date that was the end of the month through halfway to next month. Technically, this one was expected to be delivered February 3rd at the earliest, and it arrived two or three weeks earlier. The other one, I guess we're still waiting. We'll have to wait. That's just the reality of things. I haven't seen anything to panic about yet. Uh, well, there we go. I, I can't think of anything else. It's, yeah, I, I guess I'm kind of drifting off, so uh, it's a good point to end the update. Y'all have a nice week.